First V of Oregon is located on Kalapuya Ilhi, the traditional indigenous homeland of the Kalapuya people. Following treaties between 1851 and 1855, Kalapuya people were dispossessed of their indigenous homeland by the United States government and forcibly removed to the Coast Reservation in Western Oregon. Today, descendants are citizens of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde Community of Oregon and the Confederated Tribes of Sluts Indians of Oregon and continue to make important contributions in their communities, at UO, and across the land we now refer to as Oregon. Thank you, Norma. Greetings, my name is Rosa Chavez and I'm the Associate Director at the Center for Multicultural Academic Excellence. Welcome to your virtual 2020 CMAE graduation. We are saddened that we cannot celebrate with you in person. You are graduating during a historical moment in time where the world is awakening to the truth that Black Lives Matter. What was meant to be a celebratory spring term of gatherings with friends and of graduation photos became a remote learning environment filled with unique challenges. What should have been weeks of final projects and exams became weeks of heartache, anger, and sadness. We understand that lately it's been hard to find the heart space to, to feel celebratory. But today I am reminded of Dr. King's quote that Darkness cannot drive out the darkness, only light can do that. There are the injustices of the world where black lives are stolen from us and where systemic racism is a daily reality. There's also the light of the world, which is every single one of you. We have watched you persevere through your time here at the University of Oregon. We have seen you grow into your voice, your passion, your talents. We have seen you be change makers in your clubs, sororities, residence halls, and recently in our communities. We know you are not just celebrating. We, are, we know you are not just a student graduating. We know you represent an entire family of dreams fulfilled and of new beginnings. So today, let us take a brief respite from the hardness of the world and let us celebrate you. No pandemic can keep us from celebrating the beacon of light that you are no social distancing can stop us from feeling the immense amount of pride we have in your accomplishments or embracing the joy your you bring to your families. So to start our celebration, I would like to welcome our Vice President for Equity and Inclusion and Professor of Political Science, Dr. Yvette Alex Asensko. Thank you so much, Rosa, and thank you for all of the work that you do in leading our CMA team. Hello, graduates. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of an important journey. One that has been fraught by all of the challenges and rewards that students face on the way to getting a degree. Long hours, lifelong friends, frustrating deadlines, fantastic food, difficult subjects, caring professors, distressing bureaucracy, and new ways of thinking. Some of us are the first in our families to earn a degree. Others are joining a club of family members who are not only educated, but who are also ducks. Together, we realize that we did not make it on our own. So take a moment now and thank the people in your posse who helped you to reach this milestone in your educational journey. As you graduate, you are likely experiencing the feeling of many graduate students or recent graduates who felt the same way. A feeling of not knowing what is next, even if you have a job, another degree to get, or something else lined up. This feeling of not knowing is exacerbated by a global pandemic, as well as the latest rounds of violence and trauma against Black people in our nation. It is sad, but unfortunately familiar territory for Black people and for those allies who stand in solidarity and in action. In addition to the trauma that Black people are understandably experiencing, is the disproportionate impact that COVID-19 is having on our communities of color. Many of you have had to overcome extraordinary odds in the midst of a pandemic to finish the requirements necessary to be here today. So again, we salute you in the highest order. At moments like this, it is sometimes tempting to retreat into what we know is familiar and safe. Sometimes, it is safer to choose numbness in the face of all the tragedy or feel like we actually shouldn't be celebrating because of all the death and pain and trauma around us. However, the lesson of COVID-19 and the untimely deaths of George Floyd Ahmad Arbery, 
Rihanna Taylor, and many countless others, is that emotions are legitimate and necessary. They are often so ubiquitous in this moment that we cannot run from them. In fact, my hope is that as you journey through life, you will look back on this time as a gifted opportunity that you have had to lean into your emotions and give them full sway. That this moment, which seems so heavy with pain and also laced with joy, provided you with the opportunity to experience a full range of emotion and to build even more emotional courage and emotional muscle. In the process, you will develop a skill that most people spend a lifetime trying to gain, the ability to show up fully comfortable in your emotions, using them effectively to connect with others and leveraging them to lead in ways that encourage others to join you. You will have learned that true healing comes from authentically feeling. Thank you so much, class of 2020, for leading the way with emotional authenticity and courage. We love you and we are proud of you. And now, please join me in welcoming President Michael H. Schill. Hi, everyone. The annual CMA graduation ceremony is one of my favorite events, and I'm, I'm just so sorry that we're not all together uh, this year. CMA is such a wonderful program and, and it's so important. Uh, you, our graduates, the, the work that you do, the work that the CMA advisors do is incredibly important to the success of our university. So again, my apologies that we're not all able to be together in person where I can hug you and congratulate you on your achievement. But I do want to take this opportunity on behalf of our faculty and staff to congratulate you. You have completed your degree and you have a great deal to be proud of. You are graduating during an unprecedented time in our history. Life may feel very uncertain right now, I think everybody feels that way when they graduate, but under our current circumstances, it just compounds that feeling. These experiences, although challenging, are a defining moment for who you can become from this day forward. Each of you has overcome many challenges and adversity to get to this point. You have found resilience within yourself and through the community around you in order to complete your degree. As a graduate of the University of Oregon, you are forever connected to our campus community and the thousands of other students and alumni. You have accomplished so much and you have such a great deal to be proud of. As you transition from students to alumni, I ask that you stay engaged with the university to provide your own insight and mentorship to the students who come after you. Your perspective can play an important part in the experience of our current and future students. I'm honored to welcome you to the family of alumni, and I look forward to seeing all that you will accomplish in the future. And as always, go Ducks. Welcome graduating students of the class of 2020. My name is Matt Marcotte, and I have the honor and pleasure of being the center coordinator for the CMAE. We are all so proud of each and every one of you. Your accomplishments are many and impressive. It's time to celebrate you, and we are excited to be able to do that, albeit not in the way we would have preferred. The CMAE is a place for students to gather together and feel safe and welcomed while engaging with others who look like they do. Some of those students go a step further and become CMA student staff members. These students are the heart and soul of the center. Their dedication, hard work, and commitment to serving their fellow students is admirable and keeps the center going year to year. From our student service specialists who manage the front desk and assist the full-time staff, to our tutors who help our students fine-tune their academic skills, each student staff member brings with them a different mindset, perspective, and skill package. Together, they define the CMAE and make it a better place for everyone who visits. 
It is my honor to acknowledge our student staff members who are graduating this year. Andrea Torres Hurtado, Student Program Assistant and Student Leadership Team Member. Meg Matsuzaki, Student Services Specialist. Nali Navarez, Special Projects Assistant. Nia Murray, Lead Student Services Specialist. Molly Schuster, Student Leadership Team Member. And Sergio Sanchez, Student Leadership Team Member. I want to extend my sincerest gratitude to all of our student staff who are graduating this year. You have contributed so much during your time with us. We will always remember you and the light you brought into the center. Go Ducks! Now, I would like to introduce Carla Perez-Young. Hello, everyone. My name is Carla Perez-Young. I am the multicultural, multicultural Academic Counselor and Retention Specialist for Latinx students. In keeping with our CME tradition, we have invited graduating seniors who are representative of the diversity of talent, creativity, ambition, academic achievements, leadership skills, and levels of community service among our CME students. It is with immense pleasure that I introduce Naini Nevarez. She majored in art and technology and her minors are computer information technology and business administration. She will be taking a gap year and applying for two graduate schools. Naini has been so dedicated not only to CMAE, but to the whole university. I first met her at the New Student Fall re Retreat and we also attended a conference to Ushali in 2016. She has been part of the CMA of, she has been part of the student leadership team and has done amazing work as a CMAE's marketing and design coordinator. She has designed for Matcha events, Latinx strategy group logo and study halls. Nali has demonstrated an enorm enormous amount of integrity and dependability. Nali's Nylee's love and dedication to your community is clear in her determination to give back. Please welcome Nylee. Hi, class of 2020. My name is Nylee. I'm graduating with a BFA in art and technology and double minors in computer information technology and business administration. I, like many of you, have been feeling a wide set of emotions during this time, um, some good, some bad, but all necessary and natural. I feel like on this day especially, um, it's even more natural to feel pensive and reflective of our experiences at the U of O. Along my journey filled with memories of creating art projects, visiting CMAE, attending student group meetings, and all those late night study sessions, um, I especially reflect on one important thing I've learned, which is creativity. Now, I can imagine you sarcastically thinking, wow, what a surprise. An art student learned about creativity. <laughs> but I promise you it's a much broader scope than that. Contrary to what most may think, anyone can be creative. In fact, most people are creative, and I guarantee you everyone watching this is creative. Let me show you what I mean by creative through an experience of mine. So during my first year of college, I really like set my mind on studying abroad. I knew I wanted to do this program called Semester at Sea during my sophomore year. However, the program was incredibly expensive and because I wasn't sure if I would get any study abroad scholarships, I knew I needed to save money somehow. As a first year student, I wasn't yet accepted into my major and I didn't really have any developed design skills to be able to get an internship. So I honestly felt pretty stuck and I wasn't really sure how I was gonna go about this plan of mine. Um, but one day I was just doing some spring cleaning around here and I stumbled upon my painted graduation cap from high school. I looked at it and I wondered if maybe someone would pay me to paint their graduation cap. I didn't know of anyone before who was earning money off of painting graduation caps, but I felt like it definitely couldn't hurt to try, so I made an announcement on social media and I posted an image of the grad cap on an Etsy page. A couple days after I made those posts, someone reached out to me. And a couple days after that, another person placed an order. And it wasn't long before then that I just had one order after the next because 
um, you know, one person would refer another person to me and I had friends and family on social media just amplifying my work and spreading that visibility. And so I was super pumped. That graduation season, I ended up painting over 40 graduation caps and I managed to save a few thousand that I could use towards study abroad. This was something that I never imagined before when I first made that initial post. In this experience, creativity wasn't the painted graduation caps. Creativity was me starting a personal painting business when I couldn't secure a paid internship. And it doesn't stop there. Creativity is paying for college when you're a low-income, first-generation student. Creativity is creating a study guide or a study group when you're taking an especially difficult class. It's developing resources for your loved ones when they're going through a difficult time or starting a fundraiser when you see a need in your community. Creativity is contributing to a social movement in the midst of a pandemic. In all, creativity is about being a problem solver and it's often born of resilience. And who else knows better about problem solving and resiliency than us? We all climbed a mountain to get to college and faced numerous hurdles throughout. As members of historically marginalized communities, we face problems each and every day, but we did it. We're here and we have ourselves and many others to thank for this. Family, friends, faculty, and especially all those at CMA, Thank you so much for all your endless support over the past years. I think I speak for myself and many others when I say that CMA was truly my home away from home. Moving forward, I think we should all continue practicing creativity. It's what's brought us this far and it's what will take us even further. Thank you for your time and congrats again, class of 2020. Hello. I am Sugam Singh. I have just joined the CMA team as an academic counselor and ADPI retention specialist. I am pleased to introduce Molly Schuster as our next speaker. Molly is graduating with a degree in political science and ethnic studies and will take a gap year before entering law school. Molly has been a valuable member of our student leadership team and has been highly involved in mentoring and supporting students through CMA programs. Throughout her academic career at the UO, Molly was also engaged with myriad of other programs and organizations, such as being a student advisor for USO, outreach coordinator for Multicultural Center, RA for the Multicultural Art, and an active member of the Pacific Islander Club. During her time at the UO, Molly was also awarded the UO Student Leader Award and Mardell Gale Florence Cromo Pacific Islander Scholarship. Molly's never ending energy and enthusiasm make her an invaluable student leader and a beloved member of our CMA family. It is my great pleasure to introduce and welcome Molly. To the graduating class of 2020, congratulations. Like many of you, we did not expect things to unfold as they have. However, this is a milestone nonetheless, and your work and dedication deserves to be embraced and celebrated. Some of you are the first in their families to receive a bachelor's degree, and some of you are international students who have traveled far to receive a better education and to bring back hopes and dreams for your home country. Despite not having an in-person ceremony this year, when we receive our diploma, we shut down statistics that say we would have never taken the first steps. When we receive our diploma, with the help of our mothers, fathers, sisters, grandparents, we walk over adversities and we stomp out that small voice that told us to give up. To my Pacific Islander brothers and sisters, we are the manifestation of our ancestors' pain and love. We come from a long line of navigators and our stories are endless like the ocean. Let's continue to navigate in this world that's filled with the unknown, but let's not lose touch of our culture and our customs. I would like to recognize and thank the CMA advisors for their endless efforts and for trying really hard to create a safe and inclusive learning environment for students of color. And it could be something small, such as providing snacks or taking time out of their busy schedules to host homework sessions or taking in my last minute appointments. I would also like to thank Mr. Chris Young, who has been my advisor for the past five years throughout my college career. Thank you for all your help and for your tireless advocacy for our Pacific Islander students and communities. 
Last but not the least, I would also like to thank my community members from the village of Utule, my family and friends who have shaped me into the person that I am today. Thank you for your support and thank you for reminding me of my potential on hard days. It is true when they say that it really takes a village to raise a child. Graduates, don't be afraid to make the first step. Don't be afraid to make that big move. Don't be afraid to apply for your master's degree, your MD, or better yet, a law degree. You deserve a seat at the table, and I urge you to take your seat, no matter how much you think about, no matter how much you feel about yourself, or how much you think you don't belong there. I urge you to take your seat and don't undermine the importance and the value of being there. Your seat at the table is your way of serving your family and your community and your seat at the table serves a greater purpose of humanity. This, this is not the end. This is only the beginning. And it's the beginning of a lifelong race and the only finish line is changing someone else's life. Hi, I am Stella Maria Kendayomi, Multicultural Academic Counselor and Retention Specialist for Black students in CMAE. Since our sophomore year, Nia Murray, has left a lasting impression on everyone in CMAE. Her unapologetic spirit, organizational skills, resourcefulness, and authenticity are reasons for her designation as this year's Lead Student Services Specialist. Shirley Chisholm noted, you don't make progress by standing on the sideline, you make progress by implementing ideas. Nia Murray is a woman of impact and great ideas. Whether she is leading CMAE's team of student services specialists or contributing to the overall student experience at the UO, this New York native leads with style while encouraging and empowering others. Nia Murray will be awarded her degree in journalism with a concentration in public relations and a minor in sports business. After graduating from the UO, Nia plans to take a gap year then pursue a master of business administration. I proudly present to you, Nia Murray. Before I begin my speech, I would like to take the time to thank CMAE for allowing me to speak on behalf of the class of 2020. I would like to also thank my mom because without you, I would not be here right now. All the sacrifices that you have made for me and continuously make has helped to shape me into the person that I am today. I hope to be at least half the woman you are someday. For the past two and a half, almost three years, I've had the absolute pleasure at working at CMAE. However, my story at UO didn't just begin there. When I first got to the UO, I had a difficult time finding out where exactly I fit in. Most times I felt like an outsider, even when I was surrounded by people who looked just like me. This led me to looking at other options beyond UO, not just transferring, but not wanting to be in school at all. Fast forward in the beginning of my sophomore year, I applied and was hired at CMAE. I would like to say that CMAE and my mom, of course, are a huge reason as to why I'm graduating from the UO. I have found a forever family within CMAE and I'm truly grateful for that. Now for the class of 2020, I know this isn't exactly how we envisioned our last term at U of O would be like. I personally broke down when I found out that commencement was canceled and spring term was now remote. I guess the class of perfect vision truly didn't see this coming. Um, I kind of have a hard time laughing at that joke because I really don't think it's that funny. But nobody really expected this pandemic to happen along with the racial eruptions that have disrupted the world and have continuously disrupted the world even before we were born. Um, the late George Floyd's daughter stated that her father changed the world, and I'm confident that my generation in the class of 2020 will be the ones who will be the forefront of the, those changes. Um, I believe we have a voice that needs to be heard. Um, I am proud to say that we are at the forefront of most of these protests. Um, I believe in us, you know, this isn't the way we expected the economy to be like when we, you know, graduated. We hoped for more. However, um, the last thing I kind of want to leave you guys with is that in November 3rd, 2020, it is important to go down to those polls and vote to also implement these changes that we are looking forward to. Um, thank you guys for everything. Um, I'm truly blessed um, to be graduating from the U of O. I'm truly thankful for CMAE, my mom, and everybody who has also helped me lead the way. Um, so thank you guys. Hello. I'm Norma Treffren, Multicultural Academic Counselor and Native Retention Specialist in CMAE. It is my honor to introduce Dakota McCall. Dakota is Plains Cree Metis. She is a fierce spirit and a strong commitment and dedication to the Native community. 
During her time at UO, she has been asked to sing an honor song at the flag raising ceremony on Indigenous Peoples Day and helped create a dialogue for thanks, but no Thanksgiving, decolonizing an American holiday, among many other things. Dakota will earn a Bachelor's of Arts in Comparative Literature and a Bachelor's of Science in Biology with a minor in Chemistry. After graduation, Dakota plans to take a gap year to hopefully travel, visit her ancestral homelands, volunteer, work in the community, and study for and take the MCAT so that she can start applying for medical school during the spring of next year. I am pleased to present to you, Dakota. Tensei, Dakota McCauley Tsigatson, Nianeheo Egoa Meiti. Hello, my relatives. My name is Dakota McCall, and I'm from the First Nations of what is now Canada. I come from a line of healers, and I'm happy to fi be finishing up my time at UO so I can move further along my path of finding what that means for me to live in a colonized world as an Indigenous healer. My time at UO has had its ups and downs, and sometimes I struggle to articulate the experience as a whole. When I first arrived, I was overwhelmed with the amount of people and the quickness of the campus lifestyle. Moving as if I was in a school of fish was new to me, and I wasn't sure how to fit in since I was used to acting alone. As I spent more time finding, fostering, and building community, I realized the importance of creating space and carving out that time to slow down, even on campus. The longhouse became a refuge for me to listen to the quiet, older voices of the elders as they drank their coffee. However, it would not be honest to say that I operate within an institution that is built for my inherent success. Every day I walk past the pioneer statue and feel the hair on the back of my neck stand up when I see the rifle. I feel my hands begin to sweat. I wonder about the students going on their tours for introduction. What do they hear about it? Do they know what was said in the speech for its dedication? Do they care? Do they know about the history of Dee Dee Hall? That is why at my time at UO, those communities that held me so tightly gave me the confidence to speak up. I began to reach out directly to offices to speak with people in power when I saw something was awry. I began to make noise. Now more than ever, those lessons must be applied. We must speak loudly, we must take up space, and we must carve our own space for ourselves in these institutions when it is not given to us. This hour, this day, this week, this month have not been easy. I am tired. And I know that you are tired too, but I feel your fire. I feel it inside myself and I felt it for a long time. We rise to the occasion and speak up for a better tomorrow. We speak up for structural change. We speak up because our ideas are the seeds of a better tomorrow and because we are the future elders. We may not be fortunate enough to see the fruits of our grief and our labor, but we do it knowing that the seventh generation after us will. Don't get me wrong, it is not the responsibility of people of color to do all of this work. But our voices deserve to be heard. Our voices as BIPOC are sacred. And with that, I implore all of you to find your voices and to speak up. Plant the seeds, foster them, teach your children how to water them, teach your community how to water them. Use your heat and keep your communities warm. The lessons we learn on this campus that occupies Kalapuya Ilahi don't stop when we deceive our great degrees in the mail. They only just begin. Kinanaskomten, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Are Sacred, Black, li Black Lives Are Valuable, Gizakiting, I'm with you. Thank you. Barbary, Bridge Programs Coordinator in the CMAE. Nile, Molly, Nia, and Dakota, we thank you for sharing your experiences, your thoughts, and your aspirations. You have been, and I'm sure you will continue to be, an inspiration to all of us in the CMAE and many others going forward. We all wish you much success as you enter into the next phase of your journey. We would like to recognize one more senior who was not in the presentation of seniors. That is because she played a huge role in the creation of this graduation video and left herself out. Jasmine Jackson serves as a photographer, videographer for the Division of Equity and Inclusion and the UO Central Communications. The talent, energy, and perspective she has brought to the division and the CMAE has been invaluable. Jasmine, we thank you for all you did to make this graduation celebration video possible and for all of your contributions over the years. We will miss you and we wish you well. Well, congratulations, graduates. 
I'm Kimberly Johnson, the Assistant Vice Provost for Advising and Director in the CMAE. You entered as students under unprecedented times and through your resilience, you continued by achieving something remarkable. I know like so many of our students that came before you that without challenges, there is no success, no discovery, no grit gain that can help you achieve your next accomplishment or relish in the satisfaction to achieve. Oprah Winfrey shared words that have always resonated with me about dreaming big and being successful in this connection to failure. She said, it doesn't matter how far you rise. At some point, you are bound to stumble because if you're constantly doing what we do, raising the bar, if you are constantly pushing yourself higher, higher and higher, the law of averages, not to mention the myth of Icarus, predicts that you will at some point fall. And in a few years, at some point, graduates, like she did, you will recalculate. And so graduates, when you have to recalculate, tackle something new, take a different direction, or just struggle with a transition from the classroom to a career or another degree, treat every challenge as a thing you'll look back on as a lesson. Keep moving forward, focus on your successes and journey, learn from that. Graduates, I want you to continue to push yourself higher, to continue to dream big, to work hard so you can climb to your greatest potential. And I want you to lift others as you do. So much has been promised of you by reaching this goal of the degree. So I know it might not be easy for a lot of you who are scared about what's next or still feel like you're figuring it out. And let me fill you in, we are all still figuring it out. You're on this amazing journey of life and you have something significant to contribute to this world. You might just not know what it is yet. So whatever your is your story, you made it through, you are wiser, you are stronger, you are braver, you are unstoppable. So now I speak on behalf of all of CMAE when I say it has been our honor to get to know you and work with you throughout your time here at the University of Oregon. You have demonstrated you have the capacity and ability to achieve your goals. Never forget this. As you leave the U of O, we look forward to learning how you will flourish in your careers and your communities. You have the power. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Cynthia Aguilar Arismendi. Vanessa Barrientos. Nakia L. S. Burns. Annalisa Calvin. Araceli Coronado Castillo. Sandra Castillo Valenzuela. Claire Dietz. Sara Espinosa. Adriana Lisbeth Flores. Lupe Oropesa Gomez. Dulce R. Gomez Vaca. Janice Gonzalez Valera. Rachel May Gulliford. Kim Ha. Alisa Inojosa. Zigui Huang. Max Hurtado. Callie Hudson. Oceana Lasandra Johnston. Savannah Khan. Victoria Lawton Diaz. Janine Lee. Tasa Leoso. Kaylee Lee, Dakota McCall, Maya Mackey, Londra Maldonado Quesada, Sakna Mariama Mboji, Meg Matsuzaki, 
Osvaldo Medina. Ana Mendoza. Claudia Monroy Benitez. Aren Montes. McKenna Moore. Nile Nevares. Nelly Maryville Nobusi Kinpak. Raya Kim Patterson. Aaron Peterson. Diana Ramirez. Breezy Rucker. Tisha Sweetie Rosanna Rupelli John. Megan Kathleen Ramirez. Gerardo Salazar Montes. Mia Murray. Noah Sanchez. Sergio B. Sanchez. Molly Antonia Schuster. Kezia Satiawan. Sakina Shahid. Brittany Spells Will. Yomaira Tarula Aranda. Andrea Torres Hurtado. Gina Tran. Karina Velasco. Santiago Venegas Trujillo. Jasmine Taimane Iilani Vitali. Kelly Vaughn. Anisa Ibarra. Ellie Deborah Yale. Congratulations, seniors. Why, hello there. I just want to take an, this opportunity to congratulate you and to let you know how proud I am of all your accomplishments. And go Ducks. And remember, once a duck, always a duck. Congratulations to all of our 2020 graduates. We're so grateful that you shared your amazing talents with us at the Division of Equity and Inclusion. We're so proud of everything you've achieved and we know that great adventures are in store for each and every one of you. Congratulations. My sincerest heartfelt congratulations to you. You made it to the finish line. Now it's time to get out there and explore the world. Happy graduation. The graduation bear and I want to wish you a happy graduation and a successful life. God bless you, we love you. Keep in touch. My name is Simon Longnight. I am a Eugene, Oregon native, 541 forever, and I currently play the Marquis de Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson in a Hamilton and American musical here in LA. And I just am making this video to say congratulations to the class of 2020. And here's a little inspirational quote from the inspiring yet problematic Thomas Jefferson. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Short and simple life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Although he may have intended it for a small demographic of people, I hope that you, as the class of 2020, can fight for that to be a truth for every person in this country. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you much success in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Mazel Tov. Y'all rock. Lots of rainbows and hearts to you. You amaze me and give me hope. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. We are so proud of your perseverance during this tumultuous time. We wish you the best of luck as you move on from the UO nest. Go Ducks. Hello, everyone. I know you may not feel like it, but you are indeed the chosen class for such a time as this, the class of 2020. You're also a united class, the pandemic class that has the entire world striving to graduate with you. Of course, this is not the graduation ceremony you envisioned. You've been dreaming about that walk across the stage, your family and friends cheering you on, whoop, whoop, the caps flung joyously in the air. But even though there may not be pomp because of our circumstances, never has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, and vision, passion, and energy, and hope. Congratulations, class of 2020. 
Shout out to all the graduating students. You guys are awesome. I wish you the best as you take the next steps in life. Go out there and be successful. Congratulations, seniors. It's been a pleasure and a blessing to get to know many of you. I know you are creative, resilient, and resourceful, and will rise to the opportunities and challenges that surely await you. I look forward to hearing about your successes. Congratulations. Go Ducks. Jamar being here, the program advisor of the Multicultural Center at the University of Oregon, um, sending a huge congratulations to our graduating seniors. We are so proud of you. You deserve this moment, um, and good luck going forward. Hello, everyone. My name is Jonathan Batista, and I'm a principal dancer with the Oklahoma City Ballet. I commend you for your greatness, for your efforts, for your determination, and your passion. Keep going. Keep growing. Once again, I wish you all the best. Congratulations. Bye. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you the best of luck in your future. Congratulations, graduates. We're so excited for you. The wonderful accomplishments that you had. You've given the university so much, and we wish you the best. Hi, my name is Phil Deloria. I'm professor of Native American and Indigenous History at Harvard University. I'm just taking a moment to sort of send greetings from the East Coast to your West Coast to all the graduates of the University of Oregon, class of 2020. Congratulations to you all, and Go Ducks! Hi everyone, from Portland to wherever you are, from my U of O friends to your friends, congratulations to the class of 2020. Miss you all! And it is my true pleasure to celebrate this milestone with you today. We've always told you that you are special, and there is no time like ever before to have a special calling on your life. As you go, of course, as a member of the Alumni Association, go and shine bright. The world desperately needs you. We're counting on you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go Ducks! Huh. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because Congratulations, Congratulations. class of 2020. 2020. Go Ducks! Well, you know you make me wanna shout, kick my heels up and shout. Do it.